Good morning, Lobos, and welcome to In the News. As Lobos, we will lead by example and encourage positive relationships, achieve our full potential, and develop habits and skills. Lobos, lead the pack. Ow! Today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2019, and it is a green day. We have a few announcements to help you get through the day. It is currently 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and the low for today will be 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and the high will be 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow, the low will be 66 degrees Fahrenheit and the 76, and the high will be 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Lunch today, let me make it small so I can see it. Okay, we have a baked potato with cheese with garlic bread and a wow butter and grape jelly sandwich picnic pack. And for vegetables, we have vegetable medley and rancho ranchero beans for fruit we have a fresh apple fresh orange wedges and chilled mixed fruit for milk we have one percent unflavored milk fat free chocolate milk and fat free strawberry milk for actually we have uh butter and f the treat of the week is the scooby-doo fruit snack oh those are good i think everybody we have no birthdays to celebrate today This Thursday, April 18th, spring pictures will be taken. Only those that have money or have paid will be allowed to take pictures. Tonight, the band will will have their Fine Arts Festival from 6 to 7. They will be performing the Escape from Mr. Lom Lemoncello's Library. On Wednesday night, on Wednesday night, 6 to 8.30, you are invited to attend a magical night of music featuring DC's choir and orchestra. Sixth grade students, this Thursday, 18th, you will go on a field trip to the Texas Southern University. Yeah, so you will go to the Texas Southern University. Now we have a, a wellness video about the importance of sleep. That's why we should have a period where we sleep. No. Uh, like, um, seventh period <laughs> for 30 minutes. You want us to stay in school more? Yeah. Crazy. No, but we're a lot of minutes in so homeroom. We're in a lot of, we're a lot of minutes in homeroom. So we could be, um, sleeping. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm kind of tired today because I didn't get enough sleep last night. Aw, oh, thanks, Squeaks, but I, I think I'll be all right. You probably already know that sleep is really important and that we need to get plenty of it. Doctors think that most kids need to get about 10 to 12 hours of sleep every day. But sometimes it's hard to go to bed when you're supposed to, especially if you don't feel tired. That's why it helps to know what's going on while you're snoozing away at night and why sleep is so important. Think about all the things you do during the day. You probably spend a lot of your day playing or maybe going places like to school or to the store. All those activities and anything else you do take energy. Your body still uses energy when you sleep, but it uses less of it. Since your body uses less energy when you sleep, it has a chance to save some of that energy for later. So you feel good when you wake up the next morning and you're ready to take on another day. Sleep also gives your body a chance to focus energy on things that keep you healthy. For example, your body uses energy to heal and to grow while you sleep. Sleep also gives your body a chance to use energy to fight off the germs that can make you sick. So sleep is really important for your whole body. But there's one special part of your body that really needs sleep, your brain. Sleep not only gives your body a rest, it gives your brain a rest too. Your brain is super busy during the day. It works really hard to make sense of all the things you see, smell, and hear. It makes sure that all the parts of your body are working together. It helps you make decisions 
and it helps you learn new things. And those are just some of your brain's jobs. Your brain doesn't stop working when you sleep, but it does have a chance to slow down for a bit and to kind of figure things out. While you sleep, your brain organizes the things you learned about during the day to help you remember them for later. Your brain also sorts out your feelings while you sleep. Scientists have also found out that your brain needs sleep to help you concentrate so you can be better at solving problems at home and at school. Wow, there is a lot going on while you sleep even if you don't remember it when you wake up. There is so much going on, in fact, that your body usually makes you feel pretty terrible when you don't get enough sleep. Too little sleep can make you feel tired, and it can make it harder for you to concentrate and solve problems. And since your brain helps sort out your feelings while you're sleeping, you can also feel cranky or crabby when you don't get enough sleep. So what can we do to make sure we get enough sleep? First, doctors and other sleep experts routine. That means we should try and do the same things every night before we go to bed. A sleep routine helps your body realize that it's time to go to sleep. A good routine might include reading a story, having a bath, or maybe listening to some soft music. It should also mean going to bed at about the same time every night and getting up about the same time every morning. That's one of the reasons it's important to have a bedtime. One thing that shouldn't be part of your sleep routine is watching TV or using a tablet or phone. That's because the special light from their screens can send a signal to your body that it's daytime, even when it's really time for bed. So now you know why it's so important to get a good night's sleep. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Thanks for joining us on SciShow Kids. If you'd like to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks and me, hit the red subscribe button, and we'll see you next time here at the fort. So we were having technical difficulties. Um, that's why we paused the video. Um, yeah. yeah. We should go to book. Wait, we didn't finish saying everything. Let's just say that. Okay. Um, yeah, have a terrific Tuesday, Lobos. Bye. Technical difficulties.